but after some point, it goes downhill. It says, fuck two things! Fuck two things! Yes! No more 2021! Fuck! Hey, it is 12.09 a.m. on Tuesday, December the 7th, and it is the day, not just a day, but the day. After midnight, just haven't made entry to the day of no more 2021 fest ceremony. But before I do that, while it's already the new day, I am going to do sit up so here's what i did yesterday and here's what i'm expecting to do today okay as long as i don't get too close to the closet i'm gonna do this <laughs> oh wow <clears throat> gives me the energy at night this gives me the energy at night right before I power myself. Oh yeah. This is getting one. <sighs> Don't wanna hit that closet. Don't I? Gotta keep it. <sighs> oh my god. Wow. They just made me. Oh, yo, thank goodness I didn't hit that closet right there. Round one, 17 sit-ups. Let's see how much more I can make compared with yesterday. Time for a nice water break. And now for round two. Gotta get back down on that floor and position myself like this. And here I die. What a weird time of the day to do it. Goodness. It's like it's the second day and on Sunday I must have put myself on crazy chill out mode. Oh, here I go. Here I go. Whoa, I was about to wreck that carpet out. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. Yikes. I could have hit that closet again. And for a second round, I did 19 sit ups, making a total of 36 so far. So I have finally passed my target, even after two rounds. At least that's definitely worth gaining the energy before this bloody hell of an adventure with these slogans. Anyways, now I'm gonna head for the third round. This tripod is becoming harsh on me nowadays, but what's the only way that I can take my energy out, right? Positioning my knees like this and my hands like this. Yeah. Oh my God, especially from the first attempt, I could just feel it. Wow. What a way to kick off a bloody feast. Ah, oh my God. This is get. This is like, what a game. <sighs> I think I'm done. Honestly, I am done. <sighs> I just collapsed so much. Only I just chilled out so much the other day that I should have prepared for this. 
And the result for the third and final round, 18. So how many sit-ups had I done yesterday? 44. How many have I done today? 54 with 19 more than my target. Ha! Huh. Well, I'm lucky to have got out of that chair. But once I fall into bed, feels like I'm gonna go to sleep right one second later. So I'm just gonna fall to my sleep. Oh, wow. And it is eight o'clock now. I spent at home 14 hours for the second time this winter. So today is the day that I'm kicking off No More 2021 Fest. And you might be thinking, why didn't I do it on the first? Unlike the last two years. So in the last two years, I did this on December 1st. But this time, I told myself, well, hey, at least something majorly special has happened this year. I graduated from school, so I told my guts to pick another date to do it. So instead of doing it on the 1st, I said do it on the 7th, which is now today. If this was just any year, then I would do it on December 1st. But if it's like something special happened and then later everything turned bad and then I pick a random day after December 1st, but before December 15th to do this no more 2020 fest, whatever, ceremony. At home, I don't know what this is doing on the floor. Well, let's imagine that bag is the year 2020. As you just saw, that was the day that I had kicked off No More 2020 Fest. And like I said a minute ago, at the start of the year, everything just goes really good. You just enjoy it like heaven. But after some point, it goes downhill. This is what 2021 really has been like. So today at 5 p.m. there are going to be some repairing guys coming to put a new mirror on my fridge and as well a new mirror on my closet like some part of it fell off. Anyway guys, now it is time to kick it off. So as you seen the other day, I have printed out 10 papers saying 2021 on it and I have traced it with 10 different colors using Sharpie marker. I'm gonna start with yellow and I'm gonna finish it with black. So I'm gonna go from brightest to darkest color. But I am not going to explain everything from the least worst to the very worst. I will be going through what happened in chronological order. So. What happened at the start of the year? What happened one month ago? And what is happening right now and stuff? And at the end, I will just pop it out with a knife, like you're popping out a balloon. First things first, when this year was only a few days old, I had a driving practice lesson, which usually I would take four laps every lesson well on that day it was still the first lap that there was a traffic light and already the traffic light had turned green and there were two guys that were just too irresponsible to move and so i was practicing i was trying to get rid of the traffic light and what happened i i accidentally hit them I hit their vehicle and I caused a traffic accident and I was the one who had to pay for the price for two irresponsibilities from others like it's just crazy to have to pay for other people's stupidities and it doesn't even matter if I don't have a driver license like they should have been the ones 
that got into trouble. But I got into trouble for two irresponsible drivers, crazy excuses. At least that was the calm before the storm. Now, time for a nice decent flush for that. One down, nine to go. If you thought that I was gonna start off with the continuation of lockdowns, I am going to leave that for the process. And I will mention that at the end. So, imagine it's 6 p.m., you did so much sports at home, and you wanna relax watching a sports game. And at 7 p.m., you get dinner, and right after that, you end up with a toothache and you fight with it as much, but even at 4 a.m., it still lingers around. That's what I have been going through at some point throughout the last winter season, at the beginning of this year. Every time it comes to 9 p.m., although I might be aware that I could get a toothache, and although on one night it doesn't happen, the next night it just hits me so bad. And when I get the toothache, I, I just lose it so much. I just fight with it as much as I can. I just constantly brush my teeth. Well, there came the day that I finally defeated my worst enemy. But getting the toothaches, man, it was just absolute luciferish. Even Lucifer wasn't as bad as a toothache. Ha! Guess what it says? It says fuck two things! Fuck two things! Fuck two things! Well, pre-graduation, what else can I say? But it was such a heavy period that I was getting into an argument with my teachers just for not getting so much focus when it came to the last two months. At least post-graduation made it better only for the next couple of months. chapter. Just one another fucking year of deceits. Well, post-graduation, we had a US trip. That was fine. But what the fuck was it with the first day? Now guys, this is where the real crap begins. It was still midsummer, and what a crazy freaking health minister would open all the schools, even for the unvaccinated parents, at the beginning of the shittiest school year anyone can imagine. Even 2020 to 2021 was heaven compared to this shit.
no, I really would not want to even think of this happening again at the end of the next summer. Because, goodness me, they say all the schools are opening, and when you get out in the traffic, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with those people? And that's what has become 75% likely to just say, what the fuck is wrong with those people? Overexcitement and shit. Just because of one shit school year. Like, come on. And there begins the most unfortunate chapter of life. The academic calendar of 2021 to 2022. Just anyone that likes it needs to think about this again, like seriously. Even a week after that, even returning to face-to-face -face sessions caused traffic arguments, street arguments, and it was just not at peace at all. Like, what a shit full year to go back to in-person meetings and activities. Stupid. Another reason why everyone's liking this shit school year is now on September 26th, I got into a big argument with one guy helping us get out of the parking spot. I told him to move, but he's lazy, so he didn't. So I got into a big fight with him, and I was still really mad. I broke my phone on asphalt floor. Even that day that my careers fair for 2020 was postponed wasn't as bad as that shit day. Yeah! One more to go, you guys! One more to go! And guys, now for one final touchdown. Now for the last paper, one positive side and one negative side, but I would like to start with the positive side. So, yes, at the beginning of the year, even though there was a lockdown, when it came to December, I thought, why don't I set myself back to the beginning of the year? Because it felt good staying at home for 62 hours when it came to the end of 2021, coming into the beginning of 2022. But unfortunately, the negative side is that Yesterday, the September crap returned. It just returned big time just for something different. Like back in September, it was the excitement of this shit new school year. And now it is the crazy excitement over the next year, which will just be a year, man. Like, come on. It's just a year. Even 2020 was just a year, although a lot of crap happened then, especially with my life. Well, it is time to get rid of this big ass garbage. What a fucking year of deceits 2021 has been. Let's make this one sharp, shall we? Yeah, 
Let's burn it for the final touchdown. Yes! No more 2021! Now, time for the slogans. Since I was only six years old, I felt heavily down about being 20 years old. And even now, that's still the case. So, what can I say? It just sucks, man. There's nothing special about that period of time. So, what can I do about it? And what's so special about this shit calendar? Just nothing. So, fuck it. Let me be 19 again. Oh, yeah. So, how old should I pretend to be next year? Should I be 19 for another year? Should I go directly to 21? Or should I pretend to be 15 as I've been planning? Ah! Almost stabbed myself there, but hey! At least we can get this fired up! Yeah! Yeah, mistakenly stabbed my finger right there. But let's continue with it. Fuck! The 2021, the 2022 school calendar. All of it is just crap. I love the 2020 and 2021 calendar. 19 times more. 20 to 21. Yes! 21 and 22. Fuck no! Yeah! I will wear yellow on the last day of this shit calendar, and when it ends, I will not even miss one second of it! Yay! Crazy, I'm still closer to the beginning of that shit calendar than even the middle. And the option for not celebrating New Year's this year is still in my mind. And now, for one more slogan. I stayed at home for 62 hours. Yeah, I will do that again and again and again. Till the end of this winter. At the first 10 days of the new year, home quarantine. Huh, you know what guys, that's enough. That was an amazing kickoff. Whew. Gotta put that back. Gotta settle myself and gotta watch this building's demolition. Early lunch after such a feast. Oh well, I'm proud I've done that. And I, I'm in Usually I wouldn't consider every 100 vlogs a vlog milestone. But tomorrow is definitely going to be worth to celebrate too. And now heading for another drums lesson. This is going to be my last drum lesson. At least for 2021. So I got to do a heck of a practice when I get into the studio since I'm going to be taking a break after today.
Yeah, that was some thrilling fun. And now I am going to make it more complex. Get ready. All right, guys, now one more episode before I go downstairs. I just want to make today a longer episode of myself playing drums. Until we meet again, I am off from the drums and now to Maxi Miles. Just kidding, MacFit. There's a universe inside you, so won't you wake up now and see? Don't hide away the things you're feeling Unlock your mind and lose the key There's a universe inside you You should never have to hide I can see the stars inside you Please just open up your eyes
What a nice Ferrari sports car there. And a Lamborghini, that's a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, another Ferrari, and a Porsche. What a nice collection of racing cars here. Ha, yeah, nearly made it. So now the repairing guys must be at home working on the mirrors. What a funny way to be heading out of workout. And also what a funny situation. Yeah, I had another look at that building that's losing its windows it has already lost all of them all of them are gone now there's no more windows this is the next step of the pre-demolition process okay yeah i just hold on to this elevator i don't know what it's doing yes Finally get to warm up a little bit, it's been a bit too breezy out there too. So I am now off the drums until January 11th. I haven't actually told them January 11th, but before I get back there again, I am going to practice at least twice a week using my legs. And I would also like to use the table and use the chair while I'm doing some drum practicing. I could even think of doing that whenever my next day off workout winter is. Yeah, guys, what a long day has it been. And what an evil day, too. I have to admit that today has been an evil day. But I went upstairs, protested against this bloody year, this bloody period of struggling against things that generally shouldn't be as hard as a Sudoku puzzle. But when I am involved in any negativity that is going on, it just comes right into my head like a heavy thunderbolt. And so I feel glad to have took out the energy. And I am ready to take out the energy when it comes to midnight tonight. I know that when the vlog is either 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, I just act as if it's a normal day. I celebrate vlogs 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and not like 2,100, 2,200. But I feel myself as a 21 year old when I see the number 2100 in my head these days. So guys, thank you so much for watching this long video. I will see you tomorrow.